What's up everyone, GTA King here, back in another GTA 5 video. I'm going to show y'all a brand new Give Avengers to Friends glitch. This is very easy for the person receiving the Avenger. There is more steps involved for the person that is giving the Avenger. Her in this process, but what you will need to do first is an OTR method. There is two working OTR methods that are out. There's the one at the casino, and then there's the one with the asset lab. We're gonna use the one with the asset lab um, over here at the freak shop, but the requirements to do the asset lab OTR, you will need an own asset lab inside your freak shop, and you will need the first six dose missions done and complete and you will need the following setup settings on your game you have to open your pause menu and you want to go to online and you want to go to options and you want to go to matchmaking and set it to closed you gonna want allow spectators to off and join next mode from spectators box to don't join from there you want to go over to settings inside the pause menu and you want to go down to display and you want to set the graphics mode to fidelity those are the requirements for the person that is glitching out to risk to pass the Avenger you can also pass terabytes with this now the receiver what he will what they will need is a Avenger inside of their facility and they will need to own any car that they can take inside the LS car meet. They will need their jobs to show on the map and they will need a membership at the LS car meet. Those are their only requirements. Other than that, it's very easy on their end, but let's get right on into this. So you go into your freak shop for the person that is glitching out. We already have our car out on the map because we will need a car and the process of the glitch out. So we are inside the freak shop. Now we want to come over here where our asset lab is before we get too close. We want to open up our interactions menu and keep it open and we want to stand in front of the asset lab. Um, with the interactions menu open where it would normally suck us in where that blue halo would normally be at if our interaction menu wasn't open from there we want to open up a pause menu go to online jobs play a job and then we're going to go to rockstar create it missions while we're doing this our friend just wants to go into a job that's anywhere on the map that's close by the arena so what he wants to do, he just open up his pause menu, press A, and then switch his camera view to view outside the car meet if he's in the car meet, and just find a job close by the arena, and go inside the job menu and just sit inside of it until we're ready for an invite from him. So we're just gonna go in our interaction, our pause menu, and go to jobs play a job rockstar create it missions and we're going to start tightening up a job and back out from there we're going to need that invite to that job that our friends starting up that's over there by the arena so we're back out of titan and now we just need our accept our friends invite and then once we load into the job menu with him and he's able to kick us from the job he is going to want to kick us from the job so it did take too long there so we do have to go back outside the asset lab and do that part again so we go back out the asset lab here and we're gonna open up interactions menu again. We're gonna do this part again with Titan. 
because we did not get the uh, invite fast enough on that black screen to our friend's job. So you just want to stay inside that job. We want to go back up to the asset lab. And then we want to open up a pause menu. We want to go to jobs, play a job, Rockstar create it. And we want to go missions, a Titan of a job, and then we want to back out of it. And while we're on that black screen, we want to accept our friend's invite. So we're just going to back out once we're in this. And now we're going to go to our friend's invite. We're accept this invite. And we're going to accept all of the alerts to get into a job. And then he's going to kick us from the job. So he's just going to kick us out. Once he kicks us out, we're going to spawn on the ground by the arena. And now we are OTR. We are off the radar. So if he was to look to see where we were at on the map it will say that we're in the freak shop but we're actually at the arena now that same method that we just did it works for the car to car merge and also it does work for the the uh give cars the friend glitch as well now we're over here at the arena we want to go over here to the box office window and we want a friend to go into titan of a job and send us an invite and at the same time we accept this invite we're going to press right on d-pad at the window so we're just waiting for an invite to titan of a job so he's gonna go to his pause menu online and then you're gonna go to jobs play a job rockstar create it missions a titan of a job we're gonna get his invite as accept details we're gonna press on d-pad and now we're on this alert he can back out so once he's had a job we're gonna spam a three times and then we're gonna press a again after we hear three booms so we're just waiting for him to back out of the job So once he let us know he's out, we can continue with the glitch. So now we're just going to press A three times real quickly. That's the third boom phase away. We're going to press A. And we land it on the ground with no mini map, so that's good. But now if you do still have your mini map or if you get sucked in the arena war, you will have to do that part again at the arena, but you will still be OTR. From here, our friend just wants to send us an invite to the car meet. So we're just gonna wait for his invite to the car meet. And we're gonna accept. And then we're going to request our car in here through our interactions menu. From here, our friend just wants to start up a sprint. That's going to automatically send us an invite to it. So he's going to go to his interactions menu, LS Car Meet, and he's going to start up a sprint. Now we're going to join the sprint. And then once we load into the sprint fully, we are going to have our friend open up his pause menu and start up any job on the map and then he's going to back out of the job but he's going to wait to do that until we're fully inside the sprint and we're able to move our cars so once it does the countdown of three two one go that's when your friend just wants to open up his pause menu and start up any job on the map and back out that will automatically end the sprint race
So you just want to step up this pause menu and go to the map and just go and start up any job and then back out of it. Now the sprint is over. Now when my friend gets back out of the job, he wants to come and he wants to take a headshot at me. And at the same time when he's doing that, I'm going to send him a deathmatch invite and he's going to accept it. But you have to be quick to send the deathmatch invite because you're only on the wasted screen for a certain amount of time. And when he accepts it, I'm going to cancel the deathmatch when... I spawn back in. I'm just going to wait for my friend to take a headshot at me. And now I'm on the wasted screen. I'm going to send him a deathmatch invite. Now he needs to pull up his phone and accept the invite. And when I spawn back in, I'm going to pull up my phone and I'm going to go. And I'm going to cancel the death match. From there, my friend wants to call his Avenger out onto the map. And once he calls it out, he just wants to head to his facility but leave his Avenger where it's at on the map. And I'm going to head to my facility and he's going to wait outside his facility until I tell him he can go inside of it. So all he wants to do is just request his Avenger that he has currently on the map. All this is doing is transferring my mods from my Avenger to his. So I'm just going to get into a car because I don't want to be trying to run around here trying to find my personal vehicle. I'm just going to head towards my facility. Now if your friend does have the same facility as you... That is okay. If he does, then y'all can ride together. But if you don't, if he is in a separate place, that is still fine. He will still be able to get the Avenger. So I'm just going to head to my facility and we'll continue with the process once we get there. So just keep in mind the interior of the Avenger stays the same. It's just what's on the outside changes when you pass a mod Avenger to someone. They, now if you do receive another Aven mod Avenger from someone else, you will lose the current one that you have because you can only have one Avenger. So what is currently on my friend's Avenger right now, he will lose it and it will be replaced by what is on my Avenger. So I'm just going to head into my facility and I'm going to walk inside on foot. I'm almost to my facility. Now the same thing for what we were about to do with with the Avenger. Alright. 
If we was to give our friend a terabyte, we can do the same thing, but we'd just go to our nightclubs instead. And instead of our friend calling his Avenger, he would call out his terabyte. If he was receiving a modded terabyte. So I'm going to walk inside my, event, my facility on foot. And then from there, I'm going to get inside my Avenger. And give it gas like I'm going to fly it out, but it's not going to go anywhere. So once I go inside here, I'm going to walk over here to my Avenger. And I'm going to get inside of it. And I'm going to give it gas like I'm trying to fly it. But it's not going to move at all. So I'm able to tilt the wings as you see. So now my friend is able to enter his facility on foot. When he enters his facility, he will see my Avenger inside his facility. From there, he wants to go and get inside my Avenger and let me know when he's in the passenger seat of it. So we're just waiting for him to go inside his facility and he'd be sitting inside the passenger seat. Once he let us know, we'll be good to go. So now I'm going to get out and it's going to put him in the driver's seat. From there he wants to press right on D-pad, change something on it. Don't change anything except for the armor. So he's going to change the armor on it and then he's going to get out, change his character's outfit, get back in it, change the armor on it again, and then he is going to fly it outside. <laughs> Once he gets back in, he's going to change the armor on it again, and he's going to fly it outside. And that is the give Avenger the friend glitch, guys. After he flies it outside, he now has it, and he owns my Avenger. I did not lose my Avenger. I still have it, and he has an exact copy of it. So that is the give Avenger to friends glitch, that part we just did here with the Avenger. If we were going to give our friend a terabyte, we would do the same thing, but we would do it over at the nightclub with the terabyte. Alright, so it's very easy. It's very simple. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if y'all did, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications, and I will catch you guys inside the next video. Peace out and I'm gone.